How's it going everybody? This is Geeds Games with another tutorial. I was working on my app and I came across something that I thought would be a good tutorial. So basically it's taking all these audio sources and being able to control it through a volume slider and having that last through the next scene. So here we have the background volume. You can turn it up or completely turn it down. We still have the sound effects as you just heard right there and we can just turn it all the way down so now we have nothing go to the next scene still have no sound effects we can stop restart the game it saves we can up the volume go to another scene again and as you can tell we got sound effects so I'm going to show you guys how to do that so let's get started Alright, so first thing is I'm going to go to my sound effects game object that has all my audio sources and I'm going to create a new script, call it audio manager tutorial, wait for that to load up, I'm going to edit the script, and I'll drag this over so you guys can see it, alrighty. So we don't need this, we can get rid of the update function, get rid of the comment. So what I'm going to create now is a string for player prefs. Uh, if you don't know what player prefs are, I will get into it once we get there. So I'm going to do a private static read only string and call it first play and set it equal to the name. And then I'm going to do a private int, name it first play int. And then I'm going to need, we're going to need to import using unity engine dot UI. So we can import our sliders, make this public so we can assign them. So public slider and I'm gonna have a background slider and sound effects slider and then I'm gonna have private floats private float for the background and sound effects audio so it'll be background float sound effect Float. All right, so when it starts, I want to check if and see if this is our first playthrough. So basically, if it's our first playthrough, we're going to set it to a default volume value. And every other playthrough, we are going to pull what was ever volume was saved. So it's going to be it's going to be first play int equals player press dot get int and then we're going to use our first play string and then we're going to say if first play int equals zero do this else do that so by default your player prefs are equal to zero so that's why I said if first play in is equal to zero so that just basically means that this is the first time the user has opened the app. Alright so now I'm going to go back into Unity and wait for this to load. So now we have our public sliders so we're going to take the background slider audio slider alright so we got the background volume slider link it up and then now we're going to do the sound effect slider and link that up and now I'm going to go back into the script and basically since this is the first playthrough I'm just going to set the default volume that I'd like for my game so background float is the background volume amount I want that set to 0.25 and I want the sound effects float equal to 0.75 and basically I want to set 
the slider. So the background slider dot value is equal to the background float. And the same thing for the sound effect slider. Sound effect dot value, that's going to be equal to the sound effects float. All right, so now I'm going to create two more strings for my other player prefs. I'm going to have a background sound player pref and then a sound effects player pref. Just name this background background pref. That'll work. And then sound effects pref. Set them equal to each other. And now we're going to do player prefs dot float dot set float because we're saving it and we can see that the first parameter is the key and the second is the value so we're going to take the key right there and save it to the background float and then copy and paste this and set that to the sound effects float so basically what player prefs are is it allows you to save values that last through different scenes and through different play sessions. So like you can play your app, it'll save when you, uh, when you exit, and then the next time you come in that app, it loads that value. So it's really useful for what we're doing here. All right, so basically when the user plays for the first time, it's gonna get the pref at zero since it's the first time, which makes it go into here. So it's going to set these floats to our default values and it's going to set the sliders to these values and then save them in the player prefs. Next, I'm going to go right down in here and do player prefs.set int first play and then set that to negative 1. So it starts out as 0, comes in here and then it'll set it to negative 1. So it'll only do this initial value one time. And I'm actually going to change this to 1.25 because my background sound is a little loud. All right, next we're going to create a function to save the sound setting. So when we exit the menu or we exit the game, we want to save these values so our sound stays consistent throughout the whole game. So I'm going to do a public void save sound settings. All right, and it's going to be this we can copy and paste what we had up here but instead of using this float we are going to grab the actual slider values and save it and then we're going to make a function void on application focus bool in focus and if it's not in focus we want to save. So basically, whatever this means is when you're on an Android or an iPhone or on desktop, whenever you like pause the game or whenever you like minimize the game, that's basically saying you lose focus. So when we lose focus, we want to save these values. So if someone exits the game without exiting through the menu or something like that, we still want to save these values. Next, we're going to come up here, and this is basically if it's not the first playthrough, we're going to want to pull the values from the player prefs and set our slider to that. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll do player prefs dot get float, and it's going. We can just pull it from here. It's going to be the background pref, and we can set that equal to the background float, and we can copy and paste that and do the same thing for the sound effects float. Sound effects float, sound effects pref. And basically, we want to set the background slider dot value to this background float because that's the value we saved and that's the consistent value we want to go ahead and roll with. So, we'll do the same thing for the sound effects slider. All right, and sound effects. Alrighty, looks good. So let's go ahead and test this in Unity real quick. So we can press play and then we can drag our sliders. 
Notice it doesn't change the sound immediately. We haven't linked it to our audio, so we will do that next. We're just making sure the slider saves the value so we can change it to zero, end it, press play again, and then it should go to zero. And it does, so we know that is working. So now we just have to link it to our audio. So we're just gonna go back into the script. And then we're gonna need to add a public audio source, and it could be background audio, and then a public audio source. I'm gonna make this an array because I want all my sound effects to have the same exact volume, and then be sound effects audio. So basically, you can do as many audio sources to however many sliders as you need. And right now I only have two different types of audio, so that's what I'm showing you guys. And then we are going to create a, another function, call it public update sound, and basically set public void update sound. And we are going to set the background audio dot value dot volume and set that equal to the background slider dot value and then I'm going to create a for loop so int i equals zero when i is less than the sound effects audio dot length and then we're going to increment that so basically doing it sound effects audio dot length means that we can have any value in that array. It can be as big as we need or uh, however many audio we need and this will always work. So we're gonna wanna do sound effects audio sub i dot volume is equal to the sound effects slider dot value. All right. And then I will show you guys where we need to link this so that it updates. So let's go back into Unity, find our game object with our audio manager script. And now we have our background audio and our sound effects audio array. So I have three sound effects. So I'm going to do three for the size of my array. I'm going to do link those, the home, the menu, and the select level sound and then I'm going to add my background sound as well. Save that, and then let's find our sliders. So I have them both highlighted, and you notice right here it's on value changed. So basically, whenever this slider changes value, it's going to call the function, call this update sound function, is gonna be called every time the audio is uh, is changed in the slider. So let's go and find the game object with your audio manager script and drag it in here. Go to your name of your script and find the name of the function. I called mine update sound. Let's save that and let's press play and see if it works. So as you can tell we have our sound. We can turn it up, turn it to zero, Turn the sound effects to zero, let's see if it saves. It does. Let's turn this up. And we got it. Let's press play, see if it saves through that. Looking like it does. Alright, so that's how you control the volume on one scene. Now I'm going to show you guys how to get this volume settings to carry over to, uh, to your other scenes. All right, so navigate into Unity, into your other scenes. Go to where your sound effects game object is, where your other sound effects are, and create another script. I'm gonna name it Audio Settings Tutorial. Create that script. We'll uh, open it up once it loads in. All right. And I'm going to drag it in here. We don't need this. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. We can change this to awake. So 
we uh, get the settings as soon as we need them. And let's go ahead and make a new function. We call it private void continue settings. All right, and we're gonna wanna call this as soon as it wakes up. And then we can go into our audio manager script and we can actually use some of the stuff we already made. So we can take this and update sound, throw it in there, and we are going to need the names of the prefs, throw it up in here. We are going to have the floats and the audio sources. And we can copy those. And already. So instead of the sliders, we are going to get it from the prefs. So we can do the background float equals player prefs dot get float and be the background pref and do the same thing again for the sound effects and then we say we set these to the audio source uh, what's going on here there it goes oh all right so make sure everything in this script looks like your script and let's try it out and see if it works so let's go back into unity we are going to link our audio sources to our audio settings script so I have my background audio and then I only have one sound effect in this scene so I'm gonna link this save it go back into your home screen and I forgot to tell you guys to do this but when we exit so for the exit button in your on click make sure we uh, we save those uh, those slider settings so it's gonna be the audio manager tutorial and save sound settings alright save that right here and let's test it out so we have no sound no sound effects right now we're gonna exit which saves our sound settings goes to our new scene also no sound no sound effects so now we're going to turn on the background sound and the sound effects. Exit, saves it, goes to the new scene. And here we go, we have sound here. We also have sound effects when we go back. All right, so I hope you guys like this tutorial. Stay prefabulous. Uh, comment down below if you would like any other tutorials. I'll be glad to do it for you. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.